Morning everybody, morning pals. Welcome back to the channel. Oh, you want to get vocal now I've got the camera on, do you? Get him! Get him! You tell him! <laughs> Out for the usual morning walk. It's a little bit bleak this morning. No clear spots in the sky. Getting onto them wet Portuguese winters. Although, last two days we had a nice coffee and breakfast in the sun on the terrace, which was a nice treat in November. But the weather was spoiled yesterday. Looked like we were going to have a clear day, but we've seen some weird shaped clouds. They were like big white arcs that went from horizon to horizon and by the middle of the day it was just overcast everywhere so don't know what was happening there but anyway this video is going to be about why we are looking into self-sufficiency so yeah I think what I would say about our moves towards self-sufficiency obviously we know we're not going to be 100% self-sufficient and we don't intend to be we know that the future and throughout life you're always going to need the help of other people and getting so sorry about that just had a phone call and our camper van is on its way to a new home this morning that car from Essex so hopefully it gives them as much joy as it has us happy with it and shame to see it go but as this video is outlining on the pastures new. So yeah, why self-sufficiency? I think at the moment, just threw us out of my stride that phone call, but I think at the moment it's necessity for us, what we think is gonna be necessary in the future for individuals like ourselves that aren't going to agree or swallow government sanctions or advice from government that it's, uh, it's coming down the line in the future you've got turkey 2023 you're going to be implementing the first cbdc central bank digital currency and that's going to be worldwide on the surface it looks like this all singing all dancing thing that is going to save us from this economic collapse that is knocking on the door at the moment and I think when you look into the depths of it and you look at what's happening in the CCP communist China and you've got people who are getting blacklisted for not st stepping in line of what the government says and for us who are not going to do that who are not going to be coerced I think that's a a big issue from the last couple of years. Come on, Bella. From the last couple of years, coercion. Uh, we are not going to, people who are not going to bend because of coercion of losing jobs, coercion of and lies of harming your family members, which, in the light of current information, turned out to be absolute toffee and so it's, it's necessity basically or in the future believe coming down the road is this B system and you don't do what you're told you are frozen out of society frozen out of buying and selling we've seen the frozen accounts after the freedom convoy over in Canada and the likes so We've got in Sri Lanka people having to get their fuel allowance by using a QR code and this digital world that we are entering is basically a do as I say, not as I do uh, from the, the predator string masters and we're just not going to do what they want essentially in fact, I'm going to do the complete opposite. 
of what these people want and what they have planned and yeah so that's probably the first outline of why we started looking into a life here in Portugal one thing was the fact that we couldn't really afford anywhere in England Portugal's got a lot more affordable property larger spaces of land and uh, they're still in the EU so they've got a lot of EU sanctions from the Bilderberg group and the, the likes of the people who are having the meetings in the G7 and planning all of our lives and what we have to bend to so another thing was food which is a massive thing for us will we be able to afford food in the future we've already seen massive massive inflation for food in the supermarkets we love our food we want to be able to eat all the things that we've been privileged enough to be able to buy from the shops over the years what is it get it get it see it off go on then What's that? <laughs> chasing the mice this morning this is our usual forest walk like I say it's rain at the day we're gonna see how I cope with the the sad syndrome which I usually get in the UK because of the overcast and lack of vitamin D another reason why we moved here that's not sad sudden adult death syndrome which has cropped up in the last two years I wonder what that was all about but yeah so we want to be able to eat the foods that we have been privileged enough to eat throughout our lives and we are in the mindset now that anything that we want to eat in the future we are going to have to produce ourselves this might not end up being the case there might be fair trade and moving over here to portugal a lot more things are cash use cash everybody this cashless society thing it isn't good for any of us it isn't good for our freedoms and yeah you when we moved here we've got a community which we can trade food with and yeah just help each other when you go to the markets everything's cash and over here it isn't a society that is reliant on government for a start and isn't reliant on supermarkets and if supermarket commerce was to be stopped or halted for whatever reason for you not being a good little surf then you can trade with other people you've got your own produce and yeah it's food security for us i think was one of the main things looking to the future with everything that's coming down the pipe so loving autumn loving autumn here mushrooms are coming out here's a little pine mushroom delicious saffron milk cap we've had a couple of lots of them we've had some nice parasols we've had some slippery jacks some from the ballet genus so yeah learning to be more independent from the system taking back power not having to rely on a wage as much working less apologies again that was a second phone call the transfer is going through bit the sweet the van is sold <laughs> some of the best moments of our lives in that van shame to see it go i'm sure that i'll build another one in the future but we've got other priorities trying to get a house sorted at the moment and we're going to see how this winter goes i think that it's all coming to light now isn't it there's probably going to be some people some of our followers who are going to get off the train here and people don't like hearing truth these days and we just had the partnership with youtube and google which is censoring misinformation i think we all know by this point what that means it means censoring truth so 
we'll see how this video does I already have an inkling that our account is somewhat blacklisted but maybe it isn't maybe our content's just shit <laughs> but we're gonna keep putting it out there we're gonna keep telling our story we'll try to offer some value I think that offered a lot of value with the camper van build part of that was a big finger to that the usual hamster wheel drivel nine to five bullshit that we've all been spoon fed since we were indoctrinated in school and helped a lot of people with that and we're helping people to hopefully move on with their dreams and moves over here and when and if we get a farm we'll be looking into modes of off-grid living and health i've more recently started the carnivore diet which will be an up and coming video and realize that there is a war on our food at the moment these people they want us sick they want us weak they want us not questioning and they want us just to do what they to do what they say and like i said before not what they do and that just doesn't fly with me so i want to apologize to jen for putting this video out i'm going to put it out before she gets a chance to watch it she's trying to dissuade me from putting videos like this out because ultimately it only goes against you on big tech organizations like we are posting on at the moment it doesn't bode well being a truther telling it like it is but ultimately i am and we are not driven by money anymore never have been for a long time since i learned that the financial system that we exist within is basically a ponzi scheme basically corrupt to its very core and we are living it in a bubble that is about to be blamed on what has just gone on in the last two years when essentially we are not experiencing a cost of living crisis we are experiencing a money printing crisis and we're going to see the full effects of how that is remedied over the next coming months and it's going to be very tough times very tough times for people people are going to lose a lot of money people are going to lose a lot of time and then we've got the impending health issues that are coming to the surface so that's going to be coming out in mainstream media soon i think the lid can't be kept on that for much longer and as the famous quote william shakespeare the truth will out funny thing that truth it always seems to come out in the end so whether people choose to continue to bury their heads is another question so we'll see about that but ultimately the elephant is just getting a little bit too big for the room at the moment it's almost like that parable the dragon that was ignored i don't know if that's what it's called but essentially somebody has a dragon in the house ignores it and ignores it and ignores it until the dragon has taken up the whole house its legs are popping out the front door its arms are popping out the window and essentially there is no hiding what is coming down in the future for humanity so all is not lost all is not lost. Bella, win the side. Good girl, stay there. All is not lost. So what we, can we do? I don't profess to be any professional. I'm just making this life up as we go. But I think first and foremost, you can get healthy. It's, we live in a world now where it's almost you're almost seen as a rebel if you want to be healthy and we now live in a society that 
celebrates obesity celebrates being ill basically you know we live in a chronically ill society and it's seen as normal we medicate with the magic pills which is just another arm of people at the top and people are misinformed on diet saturated fats salt LDL cholesterol you know it's all misinformation we're told that the Sun's bad for us that it gives you cancer it's an arguable point I suppose overexposure to the Sun but it's also one of the best anti-carcinogens -carc carcinogens that is available to man and I think intuitively most people should know that but we force fed all this these bullshit narratives and I'm a bit fed up with them to be honest when prevalent documentaries came out about the dangers of animal products and I was actually a vegetarian for four years and uh, this apparent poisoning to the environment of cows imagine how much propaganda it took to convince people that cows were the problem so I fell for that the propaganda is strong and I have a lot of respect for people's choices I'm an advocate of free choice I want everybody to have their own free choices and these people are trying to control touched on it in our last video about milk these people trying to control our most nutritious foods and a lot of this information that's on them very dangerous documentaries is cherry-picked as you would expect from anything that's on Netflix symbology and it's just all bullshit on there it's just all propaganda a bit like the BBC and yeah taking our new most nutritious food sources away from us not people not having the choice and if they do have the choice can they afford it that was part of the reason why I went vegetarian a while ago I knew that meat was going to be going up and up and up and up because of this agenda and we hope to maybe rear some cattle in the future so that was a lot of negatives I don't want to be a negative Nancy but if I can raise a little bit of awareness then I have done the job that I now know I am here to do and for every five people that dislikes this video reported or unsubscribes if I help one brethren then I'm a happy man and we'll see how this YouTube journey goes whether we will actually make it come to fruition whether we will actually make a decent bit of money from it instead of just paying your electric bill for the month <laughs> a lot of time and effort it went into this so drop us some love guys support help each other out let's have a bit of uh, let's have a bit of love in the community let's have some forgiveness for people who've made wrong decisions in the past and it's not all doom and gloom up than we do like I said before we can we can get healthy keep yourself fit keep yourself strong learn the truth about things do your own digging do your own research because what you're getting fed I know people have got a lot of time constraints because of well inflation is just another quiet silent tax that is robbing us and robbing us ultimately then robbing us of our time so it's difficult to research and look into everything to the nth degree so just look for people who you can trust there's a lot of useful resources online and they have done the digging for you and set your goals set your ethics up in line with theirs if you think that they're a good person and question everything I think is the I know it's a cliche quote but question everything that is happening and have a little bit of foresight of what is to come because if you don't then you're going to be left in a pretty shitty situation 
So what I would obviously advise like we are doing is get yourself ingrained into a community which doesn't rely on the usual supermarket, it doesn't rely on its power from the government, it doesn't rely on electricity, it doesn't rely on the water and just decrease your reliance on government. We've got the government initiative of so the government has got the initiative I, it escapes as the, the terminology but basically want to be paying everybody a basic wage but it's just going to be 100% reliance on these entities and everywhere's been infiltrated now it's not just government it's police it's food it's farmer it's everywhere it's everywhere and anybody in the know you'll know what I mean and these are getting steered in the wrong directions as far as the common man is concerned so reducing your reliance learning how to grow food start small we're here we've only got a little four meter squared garden but you'd be surprised at what produce we've had this year and people are who have got a garden, the people who can grow on a little one metre be one metre terrace just start small, start learning how to grow things, start learning how plants work because if there's one thing history shows us when you have catastrophic events like this massive, massive economic turmoil people go back to the land, people learn how to feed themselves again and that's basically another arm of necessity so learn how to grow things learn how to barter get delve into a community that is going to be able to offer you something and you can offer something and on that note offering something learning some new skills you know learn how to build things learn how to forage things free food just learn how to look after yourself and not rely on a wage as much as has become prevalent in this age this this prison system that we live in and just learn to live day to day I always used to stress about money so much used to stress about money and now I don't anymore you know I can literally work as little as humanly possible and we get what we get and we don't do a lot and it's not all it's not all it's not all fought and lost i think there's good times ahead if you are making the right moves towards it and i think mentally as far as i'm concerned is just opening yourself up to what is really happening no more of this burying your head in the sand i often think of a paradigm of it is basically a battle of good and evil that we are fighting at the moment and I often question whether people who are willfully blind to what's going on what side they are on in some aspects of their conscious some, some aspects of their actions and living because if everybody was just aware then that would make a huge difference to what is to come in the future so we'll see how things go this winter we'll see how this video does i don't want too many of these videos guys it's it's not really nice for me like everybody we just want the best future for our children for ourselves and ultimately the more that we ignore what is going on the more that that is going to proliferate and just be aware if somebody's trying to tell you something don't always have to think that it's gospel but take it on board look into it potentially and realize that these people these conspiracy theorists for the last two years have been pretty much bob on the money so why won't they be right or even have a have a good idea of what we are heading towards in the coming year in the coming years leading up to 2030 and try and make some moves towards 
sorting yourself out, sorting sorting your loved ones out. For those of us who have tried to ring the bell, wave the red flag, whatever you raise the alarm, so to speak, realize when people don't want to know and don't drain your own resources because it's one thing I've learned over the last couple of years people are going to do what they want to do and the slim to none chance of changing somebody's opinion yeah just conserve your energy put it towards moving forward and don't drain your batteries because we haven't seen I mean scratch the surface of what is to come in the next couple of years so we'll see how things go in the meantime enjoy your winter it's getting colder here in Portugal we're going to be getting the wood out the shed potentially have our first fire this morning you know every season has got its positives we've got family coming to visit in Christmas so we're going to head to the Algarve hopefully there'll be some clear skies there and in the coming months we are going to be putting content on here that is hopefully helpful to a lot of people and anybody that has struggled everybody's struggled over the last two years nobody should have went through what we've been through over the last three years and ultimately now we know that it was for nothing and a lot of us knew that before these government entities implemented their techniques to flatten the curve and it's just destroyed our economy destroyed the future for our children it's going to be the, the effect, ongoing effect, is going to be rippling, let's say, into the, the future generations. And that's if people have been wise enough to not listen to certain government advice, let's say. So, I think honourable honorable mention to the new PM in the UK, the WEF. Don't want to try and try and keep the the bots from listening in on this video, but the Weth have got their man, Rishi. His little li the little puppet is there in power. Got links to the social credit system, similar and mirroring to those that we see in the CCP, and they've just infiltrated lots and lots of places got the brazilian governor governor who basically stuck his middle finger up to what's going on and had multiple multiple thousands of people visiting his parades and speeches and he lost that seems to be happening a lot doesn't it very very popular runners for candidates losing and let's think of who gets put into the last day there stay and what who do you think gets put into their places is it people who are blackmailed is it people that have to have things on is it predators i would suggest it probably is and them are only going to aid whichever country they worm their little way into is only going to aid in pushing what they want further towards the people of said country and uh, it's pretty bad in the EU. It's pretty bad worldwide, essentially. So I'm just going to have to roll with it, try and do what you can to make ends meet, to enjoy every day. I think that's a, something we can do, is just enjoy, live day to day, which is something that I'm finding with great ease. Just walk the dog on the morning sit in the sun, do a bit of gardening, a bit of work, eat some nice food. One thing that's been positive over the last 
Six months is really taking control of our food. We're eating fresh from the market, fresh honey, cutting out processed crap, which is basically the baseline of why our, well, I believe it's the baseline of why our society is so healthy. Go into a supermarket now and look at 95% of the stuff and I think, nah, that's just poison. And I'm even starting to look at the vegetables that way, you know, in, in certain supermarkets. That's hence the reason we've went organic. We're getting it from little trade stalls, market stalls in Trancoso every Friday. Started, started making our own bread. Started making our own fermented foods for the gut biome. Getting our vitamin D allowance in getting our daily exercise in so yeah I'm gonna wrap it up guys I think I've spewed on enough and it also always seems to come back to negatives and I think uh, that's not what I want to get across and the people think that you're just a negative Nancy when you're trying to warn people etc but I don't want to be doing this do you think I really want to be spewing on about this when we are looking at having a family here I would much prefer this not to be happening. Must prefer all this bullshit and all these evil entities not be pushing these agendas. But since the dawn of humanity, I guess, we've had the battle of good and evil. The great book tells us that. And as long as humanity is here on Earth, I think that's always going to be the case. So just get with it. I think at the moment it's more prevalent than it ever has been and it's seeped its way into the very corners and fabric of our societies but all is not lost there's still good people around and just show some love show some show some love that's all i can say just show some love love is the answer and i'm gonna wrap it up don't mean to cause anybody an offense I hope this has helped people have an understanding of where we are trying to head in our lives and maybe if you follow along we might be able to help you make moves towards your move towards not relying on other people and taking back power. Taking back sovereignty, guys. Taking back sovereignty. So, with that being said, I'm soaked to the bone. I wasn't expecting it to be raining the whole walk, but it's been actually quite a refreshing little shower. And just everybody, hope you're fit and healthy. Prayers to anybody who's been affected in the last three years. And people who have had their lives and their careers destroyed really feel for you guys and I feel for anybody who has been fighting the good fight continue doing so obviously and good always wins that's what I'll leave it on thanks for watching guys see you in the next video take care of yourselves bye